palettes usually look pretty well loved. My mixing areas are covered with uh, my previous mixes and I enjoy this in part because I always can start with a little bit of what I call palette gray, mixing together the colors on my palette and seeing what I come up with. But every once in a while I need a fresh start and uh, I want to show you some of the tools I use for cleaning my palette. The first is just wetting it down with a brush and then giving it a wipe. And my favorite kind of towel to use, well, either a soft rag or these are blue shop towels and they are nice and soft, can be rinsed and reused. And I use them in my studio painting as well. Now, some colors stain more than others, particularly the phthalo colors, like phthalo blue or phthalo green, and you may see some staining. And one of my favorite tools for removing this is a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And this is just a little bit of one that I, um, I cut off a larger sponge, and I'll get it a little bit wet, and then I'll just wipe off the palette surface. Now, if the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser didn't quite get every stain off, there's one more useful tool, and that is just a plastic eraser. This is a Stettler one. Now, you can use this to erase any last stubborn stain on your palette to get it to almost a brand new white looking surface. Finally, with cleaning your palette, you may find that you want to refresh some of your colors. And to do this, I usually take my palette to the sink and might give a light rinse to freshen up these colors before I refill them. Take out my pans, and if any needs scrubbing, I might use a little um, Bon Ami or Barkeeper's Friend. I would apply a little oil to the magnet as well, just to condition it, keep it in good shape, and um, do a, a final clean of these pans. I hope you found these tips helpful. I'd love to hear if you have any favorite tips or tricks for cleaning or if you have any questions, keep in touch and happy sketching.